Hello guys, it's Eric here at Florida High Performance. I'm here with our tuner, Derek Dunbar. We are standing in front of this beautiful Gen 3 CTSV that we just installed a fresh 416 cubic inch short block from our friends at Late Model Engines. As well as a set of cylinder heads, custom cam, and a slew of other parts. Most important part of this build is about to occur. That is engine break-in. This is a step that is oftentimes passed over. This is a step in the process that is very, very uh, underrated. And what I mean by that is, if we don't properly seat the rings and get the bearings broken into this engine and heat cycle this engine a few times before we go wide open throttle, it's highly likely that uh, not only will the lifespan of this engine uh, be knocked almost in half, if not more, but we could have some sort of catastrophic failure considering this gentleman has put a ton of money in this build. What's up everybody? My name is Derek. I am the lead tuner at uh, Florida High Performance. My task today during this break-in procedure with Eric is to basically make sure that we have good fuel trims, fuel pressure, rail pressure, everything heat-wise looks good. Um, we want to ensure that this vehicle is going to perform as close to stock as possible. We also want to make sure that no matter what's going on, that we have the correct readings to make sure that the engine break-in process that Eric likes to follow is 100% go. Ready? I'm ready. You know, Derek's keeping an eye on the temps and the trims. Everything kind of checks out like it should. That's no surprise. When you use high quality components and you build things correctly, typically you're not gonna have any surprises. That's the first round, we're done. We're gonna completely let this thing cool down. We'll change the oil. We're running a Joe Gibbs BR40 break-in oil. After the second round of break-in, we're essentially ready for wide open throttle at that point. And we'll go from there, see what happens.